Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have it. Uh, this is a this is a camera, and I don't I haven't done a ton of camera unboxings in a while because they've been mostly uh, mirrorless cameras and some DSLRs. I'm really interested in the Canon. What was the new one, Vin? The R6. R3. R3. The bigger R5. The yeah. One I haven't gotten my hands on many of them yet, but when this one got announced by Red. I had to. They just spoke to me. This is Red V Raptor. So I'll explain what it is in a second, but let me get the box out first. Oh, there's a bunch of accessories too, of course, that come with it. So I'll explain what all of this is. But you can see a bunch of red branded boxes, and they've done a they've done a much better job with that type of stuff lately. Is that red tape? The rigging is all here. This is great. Okay, we're in good shape. Wait. Which, where's the, oh, wait no. a second, wait a second. <laughs> I think this just needs batteries. There's no camera in here. <laughs> what? 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 Oh my wait. god! Wait, okay. wait. Wait. Side what? handles. Never and mind. The camera is invisible color. It wouldn't fit so well in this box. Alright, well, we got a box this exact size and shape yesterday, thought it was a camera. It was all of the camera's accessories. Now we've got the camera. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, anyway. Okay, so as I was gonna say, this is Red V-Raptor. And I, I explain Red cameras, because I've talked about Red cameras in previous videos, as uh, two different things, a sensor and a body. They update their sensors, which they design, and the body, the actual camera itself separately in sort of a staggered way. This is a body update with the same exact 8K Monstro sensor that we've been shooting with. But it's a DSMC 3 body, which we'll see what that means when we get into it. So it's called the Raptor. The headline you've probably all seen, there it is, uh, which is the number that most people can appreciate is 8K 120 FPS. That's the that's the number, I just erased whatever was under this. But, that was nice to see it. Oh, that's good, okay. Good, 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 yeah. good. So, uh, but you can already tell it's it's smaller. So they had DSMC-1. Does anyone know what DSMC stands for? I think it's Digital Stills and Media that sounds Camera. About, still, right. Yeah. That sounds still correct. Stills? Yeah. That was like one of their digital stills button. An 8K and motion, like there it is. Digital Stills and Motion Camera. You take a still from a 30 megapixel frame, sure. Let's get a first look at it, then I'll show you guys why it's special. It's in a white box because this is the Stormtrooper version, one of the first ones that they ship, which is a white body with black accents instead of a black body with white accents. Which means I'll probably end up getting a black one later. Oh wow, that is sick. Now, if you've okay. seen the Komodo before, it resembles a Komodo very much. Didn't <laughs> gonna go get one. Yeah. <laughs> but it is, it is bigger. There you go. It's a matte screen, actually, on the side. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so that's the only screen built in. But as okay. you can tell, the main difference here is going to be that all of the I.O., all of this stuff, is built into the body. So when you get a DSMC 2 camera, one of these, you get the brain, and separately, there is the card reader, which reads mini mags. There is a mount, which is screwed onto the brain. There's obviously the display, and I have this little rig with the handles over the side, but the battery connection is extra. The battery is extra. Everything what? you see attached to it is added to the brain. And that's nice, because you get to configure it exactly yeah. the way you want. I love this setup with the top handle. Very modular. Komodo, Small one boy. piece, everything built in. And so now, this is a... This is a bigger. This is a bigger Komodo. It's a beefier boy for sure, but it is a still smaller than most. Big brother. A big brother, and that is a solid single big fan at the top. Yeah, wow. Well. So, big Wi-Fi antenna, two SDI out, audio. You have a headphone jack, power in, and this little battery thing, which I think we'll get to in a second because we have a battery here, and then C fast. CF Express. CF. CF, I think it's a type B. That's CF Express, type B. Yeah, that one's like a, uh, it's dense. 
the reason I, oh, and it's an RF mount built in as well. Uh, the reason I am excited to get a black one is because reflections. But I'm still gonna shoot with this. We're gonna shoot actually with this very soon. Ooh. 8K. It's the vision. Same sensor. Breathe into the sensor. <laughs> but it's theoretically gonna have slightly better image quality because it's a new computer inside, uh, which can have better noise performance and get slightly more and obviously get higher frame rates out of the sensor. So 8K 120, that's all that's in here is just that and the power. And I think by the the movie magic gods, we will be able to create a fully assembled camera, hopefully with a snap. I hope this works. Yes, the mount right here. Yep. Sweet. All right. HD. Yeah, we're gonna go small HD. I think the one that I ordered is a seven inch monitor again, so it's nice. It's like kind of the same size as the, the SMC2. Nice. Starting to look like a camera. No. It's looking pretty good. Before it, it kind of just looked like a box. Yeah, yeah, just the brain. But it is, I kind of am into this like black and white. I will now. We can now shoot our iPhone oh, 14 review. This is a heavy baby. It's heavy. It's not a macro. It's dense. She's heavy, but she's uh. That's a she's dense steady. boy. Yeah, it does feel a lot more steady. So I hold. Do you think that's the way? That's good. Whoa. Okay, I'm back. Whoa. Oh, that's smooth. Is that synthetic mode? That portrait mode looks so good. Where's the third lens? That's pretty good. <laughs> Do we think we trust the Raptor enough to uh, use it on today's shoot? Yes. I think we should try. Basically, we have four wireless independent bar lights that you can see right here as we turn these on. Um, and the idea is the shiny rails, these features uh, design-wise on a phone like this are all accentuated by light. So the idea is to just have like a very sci-fi, utilitarian, um, kind of futuristic look for this utilitarian, futuristic, sci-fi looking phone. The thing that I, I mainly Fine miss gloss. is just the uh, monitoring system of DSMC2, having a screen up here that you can monitor, but also interact with the actual settings of the camera. Whereas having this split disconnect where you have viewing up here and then uh, settings functionality on this side, it, it it's not as intuitive. We just switched to a lens with a de-clicked aperture. That way uh, we can just control aperture physically on the lens because we can't seem to find out how to control aperture through the displays. You ready for this? Is water wet? Water is in fact soaked. Uh... <laughs> so we'll start keyframe there. We'll end keyframe here. And then um, because this is snagging a little bit, shimmy this a tiny bit to the side. So we're just gonna do a 15 or maybe a 10 second um, move back and forth with a 50% ramp. Program move, mm -hmm. new move. We're gonna do two keyframes. Right. That's gonna be the first keyframe and then we're gonna set the second keyframe to there. So the camera is motorized control, as well as the tilt, for tilt, tilt and pan for this itself. I think we're slowly hitting the vibe. So more of that. I feel like if Red were to release the same seven-inch monitor that they have on Monstro for something like this, it would solve literally all of the issues that I am facing right now. It's just the software that they've built for DSMC2 is for at least for, phenomenal. At least for DSMC3 for Mo or for Raptor, it's not as like well developed as Komodo's. Yeah. I don't know. I think I just had a lot of expectations about like 
usability because of its form factor. Yeah. But overall, like image quality wise, it's to my eyes so far a little better than Monstro. At least I believe. From the small, yeah. Small display. And all the low light we've been shooting on this so far, it seems pretty clean. Actually, it Side might handle. be a good idea to set up your phone with this. That way we can change aperture. Oh, right. Bring it to five, I think. This is a four. That's good. I like that. It is fun that we're trusting this brand new camera we've never used before with uh, a fairly, fairly big video. We don't I talk mean, about it. It's only like the biggest video for the whole year besides Pixel. I think the two things I'm gonna do for my sanity, that way I can like wrap my head around this edit, is get the two uh, hero shots done another way that way I'm happy with those. And then um, once I'm happy with those, I get to just like fill in the blanks with a lot of the B-roll we've already shot, just kind of finding Three, the, two, the vibe. One. Oh yeah, this that called, worked. That's called ambiance, my friends. And this is the take in three, two. You can't change it at all? It's not letting me go back in? Is it because it restarted maybe? Yeah, I got to reconnect. Yeah, I mean at the point where I start running out of shot ideas, I feel like that's the point where I generally... That's when we import footage. Yeah. Okay, well this is hot. This is uh, very spicy, so I think mm -hmm. I think that should mean that the footage should also be hot because that's how that works. So yeah, let's try and edit something and make it look cool. There we are. So take this whole folder. We're gonna import it to um, a completely new library because my computer is running out of space. Because one or more third-party plugins are not compatible with this. Version of Final Cut Pro. Okay, so does that mean that there's a plugin for Raptor on red.com? Let's just try downloading it. Yeah, that should be right, because that's when they probably like developed the camera. Yeah, yeah no, we're, we're getting there. I'm, I'm in the coloring stage right now. I'm still importing. This is taking forever to import. This is... Yeah, how big was it? Did you use AK-30? This is MQ. Uh, is so this, is, this is max quality. So the, the saturation slider That's is bad. broken yet again on this, but... Just because the camera's new. It happens on a lot, but contrast usually still works. That works. Yeah, that's that's good. Can you still affect saturation even with the slider? Absolutely. Broken? I mean, you can just bring that to the built-in okay. color correction. Um, like oh, yeah. Drop shadows. Instead of doing it in the red raw setting. All right, so now that's one shoot down with wrap. It is, in the books. Any uh, Anything notable or like things you loved or hated? I will say um, noise management is actually considerably different. The fan? Um, no, more so just like oh, just noise, noise in, in the image. image or grain. Okay. Um, I felt as if a lot of the shadows that I was editing, especially during my coloring process, I wasn't seeing very much uh, mess in, in the shadows, uh, which is pretty notable compared to the Monstro, which like isn't by any means like noisy or grainy, but still in comparison, you do see a difference. Yeah, I mean this, I, I would never shoot Monstro at anything over 800 if I didn't have to. Agreed. We were shooting at, I think, was it 400? 400. 400, so yeah. it should look pretty good. Yeah. I'm very curious if the different um, computer will allow me to take it over 800 with any sort of confidence, because it looks kind of crazy shooting Monster at like 1600. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a low light camera, but we'll see how that goes. I think whoever makes the best handle for it, that's what's gonna get me to love shooting with this camera. Okay. Because uh, I do a lot of handheld pointing at things, first right. person, all that stuff, and these... Uh, <laughs> for the handles for him, the screen is that for me, because having uh, the actual like live viewing as well as the settings control, like that's gonna be the big game changer for me in using this camera. Yeah. Do you view it as a, here's the last question, do you view it as a sequel to DSMC2, or do you think it can live alongside DSMC2? I'm gonna call it um, a little bit of both. To I, a like, I know it's a cop out, yeah, but like, same. it's not a very clear answer because it depends on the person. I think. Yeah. 
I have, I still have a place for both currently yeah. in our workflows. A lot of it is ergonomics and the monitor that we still use DSMC2 for. Yeah. But this one will grow. Mm -hmm. We'll have RF lenses, we'll have much more stuff to shoot with this. I can't wait to shoot a car with this. Yeah. And we'll see how that goes. But until then, the Stormtrooper V Raptor is in the studio. What does V stand for? That's the question oh, God, for the comments. Nobody knows. I literally watched the video and they said it could stand for whatever you want. <laughs> so, whatever you want. Project Veritas? <laughs> Velociraptor? Velociraptor? There's, no, like there's no clear answer. That makes the most sense, I don't know. Yeah.